The front of the container is pretty eye-catching. Um, just states the company name at the top, Paldo, and then Dosarac Instant Noodle. And it's got like a housewife on there, or like some girl, I don't really understand, wearing a handkerchief. And she's got like some sort of like sparkles or like stars or magic going on around her shoulders and above her hands. I don't know. She's like casting a spell or something. Anyways, or maybe she's just like super clean or something. Anyways, so it says great taste. It's got a picture of a shrimp here and some garnish sitting in a bowl of noodles. And then at the bottom you see it says shrimp flavor. And it's covered in this plastic that has Dosarac instant noodle printed all over it. Like literally all the way around the entire container on the sides. And then on the back, we've got like the nutrition facts and the cooking directions. Here are the cooking instructions, which state open the lid halfway, put the soup base and flakes onto the bowl. Two, pour in hot boiling water up to the line. Close the lid and let it sit for three minutes. Three, remove the lid, stir well, and enjoy. So I guess we'll go ahead and open it up and see what it's inside. Here's our halfway line that we're supposed to open the container up to. I'll peel back the corner. It's very interesting styrofoam tray here in here. As you can see, the lid has torn par part of the way. So I'm not gonna even risk it. Inside, all we have are like the noodles and some packets. Here you can see it says noodle Dosarac powder soup shrimp flavor. It smells like fish food. Honestly, like the flaky fish food. Very interesting. Also in here, we have our vegetable packet. Here's our vegetable packet in Russian text. And here in English, vegetable soup. Inside of the vegetable packet, we've got like some balls of something. We've also got some like shredded carrot, it looks like green onion. Here you can see that it says that our flakes are, consist of dried carrot, soy protein, and dried green onion. So I guess those balls are like soy protein. We'll set our handy dandy pen on the edge and start our timer for three minutes. All right, looks like we're good to go. Oh yeah, there we go. This broth is exactly like the powder looked. It's just straight like orangish brown, but all right. It's, <laughs> it's really interesting these uh, soy protein pellets that they put in the uh, vegetable packet. It's um, it's a little strange, honestly. Um, they're like little, little soy balls. So I don't know. We'll see how that, how that works. Here's how the noodles ended up. We've got these soy protein balls here. And uh, then there's also some shredded carrot that reconstituted very well. And then we've got this uh, throughout, sprinkled throughout, very, very tiny flakes of green, uh, green onion. I'm not expecting much texture from the green onion flakes because they're so small. I think that the uh, carrots are really going to be interesting to chew into. I think they'll help add some texture. And then um, I'm expecting quite a bit of texture from these soy protein pellets as well. The noodles themselves are pretty standard uh, by appearance. They look like the um, most of uh, Paldo's ramen noodles. So I'm expecting them to probably taste the same as well. And um, the appearance of the broth is uh, just this orangish brown, basically the exact same as the... Uh, the powder in the soup base mix. All right, so the smell is definitely like seafood, like a fishy smell. 
the noodles are a lot softer. Um, the bite is a lot softer than the cups, the Paldo cups. Um, I recently tried their um, instant um, Kokomin Gom Tang and Chicken Volcano Noodle. And honestly, those uh, noodles are a lot more uh, coarse or like rigid than these noodles here. So I don't know if that's like common with the Dosarac uh, line of products or if that's like just that particular style of container, the, the like rectangle uh, styrofoam tray. I don't, I'm not too familiar with that this line of products for from Paldos, but the noodles are a lot softer. The noodles don't really have much flavor, but I can tell that these noodles are soaking up a lot of the flavor of the soup base a lot better. I don't know if that's because they are a softer noodle, but than the um, cups made by Paldo. But I do notice that this um, noodle here is taking on the flavor of the soup base quite a lot. Um, as far as the flavor of the soup base, you know, it's a generic shrimp flavor. It's a, in, it's a very strong sh shrimp flavor. Um, it's what you would expect from a shrimp flavored noodle. Um, however, there is a, a bit of heat. There's just like a very light spite tone of uh, spiciness. So it's pretty awesome. I think like my my girlfriend is like kind of sensitive to spicy foods, but she does like a little bit of heat. So she would love this noodle, honestly. It seems like the vegetables are more of a visually appealing garnish because I'm not really getting any texture from any of them. The soy protein pellet is like kind of rubbery. The soy protein pellets don't really enhance the ramen very much but i mean it's a different type of texture it's kind of interesting i guess you could say it is a little rubbery like chewy like a shrimp would be but like shrimp meat might be but it's not really like shrimp meat at all and it doesn't really taste like shrimp it's just like a little spicy and other than that like kind of flavorless I would say it's probably like a 3.5 out of five stars. Um, you know, just because I think the noodles are a lot better than some of other, some of Paldo's other, like their cup noodles. Um, so all in all, I think it's a great lunchtime noodle, but you know, I guess since the, the condiments, like the vegetable packet is really lacking, um, I can't give it much more than 3.5 out of 5 because, you know, it's like, it's just basically like a nice soft noodle, a good flavored soup base, and that's about it. So, um, you know, with regards to that, there's like no real like complimenting texture variation or anything, you know, like the, the soy pellets are like really bizarre. This like kind of rubbery, but not quite like a shrimp meat would be. And it's not even, doesn't even have any flavor. It's like, you know, it's like a little spicy, I think. Like I, when I was biting into one of the soy pellets, I got a little bit of like pepper, like heat, but I didn't get any other flavor. So it was kind of weird, honestly. I don't know what the, what they were going for with those. Maybe they were trying to do like a, kind of like a shrimp type texture and but there's like not any real flavor there, so I don't really know. But anyways, um, I guess there's not really much flavor with shrimp. I mean, <laughs> honestly, so I don't know. Um, but I, I don't, like when I chew into it, I don't really think about shrimp of the texture as being like shrimp. So I'm not too sure. But either way, I think it's a good noodle. So I would suggest trying it out just to... You know, because it's not bad at all. So, anyways, love you guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.